I have the Fly Bear 2 channel FX820 SU35 Nano Park Jet, which I have converted to a brushless 3 channel Nano Park Jet. It has a stabilizing gyro in it, but I have it in manual mode, as you can see. Make sure our control surfaces are all working. Okay, so we have wind on the ground of four to seven. Let's see if we can get it in the air. That launched pretty nicely into the wind. Now we're turning upwind right now. Look how slow. <laughs> Slow into the wind. Check that out. That is slow. It has a pretty wide flight envelope. It runs off of a 2S LiPo, a little 300 milliamp hour. And I can get about a seven minute flight time off of it. Big wide loop. Nice and slow. Turning downwind. Isn't that a cool little brushless nano park jet? Nice axial roll. Slowing down, coming into the wind. Little high alpha. That's a speedy little thing when you want to be speedy with it. Roll to the right. Crosswind roll. <laughs> Not advised. <laughs> Isn't that an awesome little whole nano park jet? Uh, this thing is fun. It's been so long since I've flown this. Coming into the wind. Slowly. Maybe I should have maybe I should have turned on the stabilizer, I don't know. Big roll. Our loop. Not a roll a loop. Bring it back over here where we can see it. This thing is so tiny, but I love the color scheme on it. Uh, yellow or black, it's very visible in the air. Makes it a lot easier to tell the orientation on it, you know. Coming back into the wind. Very slow. <laughs> downwind, crosswind. Turn downwind, coming crosswind, into the wind. Ooh, getting a breeze now. Ah, if I had, I don't know, three mile an hour or more, I could probably hover it. Can't quite hover it in this. What do you guys think of my little nano park jet here? A little brushless nano park jet. And it's just aileron only. Throttle, aileron, elevator, aileron and elevator mix on the ailerons, and that's all it is. Mechanically, it's very simple. Turning upwind. 
<laughs> that was too cool. It's pretty agile for having only, you know, Elvon only. That's that's the way my GF my GFS park jets are. They're just Elvon only, but they're extremely maneuverable. Turning up, turning up wind again. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's bring it in for a landing. Coming into the wind on this little dirt lane. There we go, plop. Okay, what a fun little nano park jet. All right, let's see what else I brought with me. See you in a minute. Okay, flight three on this totally abused F-86 Sabre jet. And my last battery pack that will work in this on 4S, so. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some more of these small 4S LiPos. I can, I'm sure I can use them in other aircraft too. For 3S plus power systems. Wind has tapered off a little bit. Feels like it's about five or six now. Instead of five to seven. All right, let's see if we can get it in the air again. We did. Look at that. It wanted to dip a wing on me there. Come on, F-86. There's not that much. Well, maybe there is a lot more wind up there. We we'll just don't know, do we? What do you guys think of that 3S plus power system? Isn't that something? I wish I'd have thought of that to begin with, you know? It wouldn't be so beat up. Yeah, I forced it to turn tight there and got a little wiggle out of it, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so I have my timer set for two and a half minutes on all these flights and I've been coming down. I haven't been gentle with it, have I? I've been coming down with about 3.75 volts per cell. So, I, so let's come back around and land it, but I think I'm going to start sure nobody's coming I think I'm going to start uh, putting that at a three minute timer and see if I have about 3.6 volts per cell when I land lighting man I just cannot bring the nose up on that 
<sighs> I thought maybe I could bring it in with a little high alpha on the glide, but it just does not want to hold the nose up. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, my skids are still there, guys. My wing protectors are still <laughs> are still there. Uh, let me check the wings. You know. Yeah. All right. Everything looks good. Check the controls. But look, look. Let me see if I can hold it up here where you can see it. Let's see how much. Look how much elevator I've got on that. And I cannot pull the nose up on it. I'm afraid to push the CG back any further than I currently have it. Because every once in a while, you know, coming out of a maneuver with not enough speed, it wants to dip a wing on me. So... I think if I push the CG further back than I already have it, it would make it, you know, more apt to do that, you know? It seems like this jet wants to fly, you know, a little nose heavy in order to be stable. And I don't, if anything, I've got it set up so it's a little tail heavy because like you said, I'm past the recommended range. You know, I've pushed it further back than what the recommended range is, a couple millimeters from from the specified range on the CG so I you know I, I look at the rolls and stuff and I know it's balanced on that CG very well but I still just cannot get that nose to come up oh well it is what it is but I guess it's just a characteristic of the airframe so anyway uh, like I said check out our previous video on this jet and then I, I go through and explain exactly what our 3S power 3S plus power system is, but it turned this F-86 into a little rocket ship, didn't it? Do you see that vertical climb on this now? That is absolutely awesome. And like I said, I'm sure this airframe would be a lot more stable if I hadn't had so many crashes with it to get to this point. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.